<laughs> Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Today from Salads and Sandwiches of 1917, we're going to be making the olive sandwich. First order of business is to pour boiling hot water over olives that have not been pitted yet. Let it soak for five minutes. Now we transfer them to ice water until cool and crisp. Now we wipe them dry. Now we take the pits out. Now it says to chop fine with a silver knife. I don't have a silver knife, I have a regular knife. I can still chop it fine. Now keep in mind, they did not give any amounts in this recipe. So to this, we add some uh, cracker crumbs. I'm using saltines because they've been around since the early to mid 1800s. This is 1917. And it says to add mayonnaise. How much? Mm, no idea. And we put that on the thin slices of buttered bread. Okay, let's give this olive sandwich a go. It's exactly the sum of its parts. Green olives, mayonnaise, Butter bread. I like green olives, so I kind of like this, but I do think we can make it a little bit more interesting by plussing it up just a little bit. First, I'm gonna add a little garlic powder and a little lemon zest. Okay, let's give this olive sandwich plussed up with garlic powder and lemon zest. Go. The garlic powder is going really well with the olives, really well with the butter and with the lemon. Lemon's adding a nice bright citrusy note to it. Olives are bringing a little bit of salt. This is good. Okay, before we get into it, you might be asking, Barry, why did we have to pour boiling water over the olives, take them out, soak them in ice water, and then pit them and chop them? Well, here's the deal. The olives that I got at the store and the ones that I could find near me probably are not exactly the same kind of olives that they would have used back in the day. They're probably a lot bigger, uh, greener, and the, the curing process for them might have been different as well. So it might have been an effort to try and loosen them from the pit a little bit. Still, they were green olives and they were pitted, so I went for it. As for the uh, cracker crumbs, I think they were just in there to add bulk. They really didn't add any flavor to it. And even though I used saltines, it really wasn't overly salty because there was salt and olives. It just was just kind of there. Um, the original olive sandwich, clearly this is a tea sandwich. There's no way this is intended as a course in a meal or as a meal in itself. So I would give the olive sandwich as a tea sandwich, probably about five and a half. I like green olives. If you don't like green olives, you will not like this at all. Adding in the garlic powder and the lemon zest brought some depth of flavor and some brightness, which I really enjoyed. I'm gonna give that a seven as a tea sandwich. I think that's a lot more interesting. I'm definitely gonna finish that. I don't think I would make this sandwich again, at least not in this way, because what a pain. <laughs> all right, see you tomorrow. Saying hey, ooh, yeah, oh.